You know, I really like tea. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a quick little tutorial video on how to list multiple items on the Steam market at the same time. So as any of you guys who have watched me for a while know, uh, my account was recently hijacked and I got it back and I had to re-enable the Steam mobile authenticator. And so just this evening I got access to where I can use the Steam community market again. The problem is when my account got hijacked, all the items I had listed in the community market got taken off. And so the problem is I have all these cosmetic crates in TF2 that I want to list on the item for three cents. But the problem is there's just so dang many of them. And normally listing them on Steam, you're going to have to list them. You're going to have to click on one, scroll down to sell community market, put in the price all one by one by one, and that will take forever. So I'm gonna show you guys a quick little way I figured out on how to do it much faster. So first thing you wanna do, you don't wanna do this in like the actual Steam client. You wanna open this up in the uh, Chrome web browser. So open up Steam in the Chrome web browser, go to your inventory, and what you need to do is install a little extension called Steam Inventory Helper. So we're gonna type that in, Steam Inventory Helper. <clears throat> now what this is, is, it's an extension on the Google Chrome store that gives you additional information and statistics and also gives you a few little tools on just how to make um, stuff in general easier. And that includes something that can help you list multiple items simultaneously. So we're going to go ahead and add the extension right up in here. So uh, one thing I should point out, guys, is that this extension has been known for uh, collecting data and not really respecting a lot of privacy. So if that's an issue for you, you might not want to use this. I personally am not really worried about it. I've used it before, never had any problems, uh, but I just want to make you guys aware of that. Okay, so we're going to open up the settings, make sure everything is as it's supposed to be. Everything looks pretty good. It's just standard settings. We're going to close that. We're going to go over here to Steam Community. We're going to refresh this page. Okay, so you see there's a few little more options here now. The Steam Inventory Helper uh, button here is toggled. As you can see, when you untoggle it, it takes all those options off, but when you toggle it back on, you get all these different options. So what we want to do is click select items. So we're going to select multiple items at once, and I'm going to go through here, and I'm going to select all the cosmetic cases in my inventory. Now, yes, this will take a while, but it won't take as long as listing them all individually. So I'm going to be right back as soon as I'm done selecting all these. <laughs> One little quick trick I want to point out here, instead of just selecting them one by one, you can actually hold down control and click all over this area to select them all on the same page at one time. Saves you a few additional clicks. Okay guys, so I am done selecting all the different cosmetic items in my inventory. And as you can see, it's like eight pages of them, so it was a bunch. Did not take really all that long. So we've got all these items selected now. So what we're going to do is put them in a queue where the extension Steam Inventory Helper will just list them one by one all by itself. So now that we've selected all these items, what we're going to do is click sell 179 items. I know, a lot, right? And as you can see here on the left, there's all these different stuff on the right. Now here it just pops up the normal window of put this item up for sale. And what we're going to do is click quick sell all. So buyer pays. Three cents, and we receive one cents. And as you can see, it's already started listing them. It's just going to be going one by one over here and listing them all on the market. See there, it already says 18 items, 16, 15, etc. It's just going to keep going and going and going until it comes, until it finishes listing all these items. And as you guys can see, all the items are now gone from my inventory. I think I have to refresh the page real quick. 
See there, it went from 540 to 383, so I've got a lot more space in, uh, in my backpack now on TF2. But we'll go ahead and open this up. Look at that. All the sale listings here in Steam. And look at that, it even tells me the total amount I have available on the market. A little over 5 euros before Steam takes the commission and uh, a little under 2 uh, afterwards. Kind of stinks. But anyway, guys, as you can see, I've got all the stuff listed here. There's just pages and pages of it, 18 pages of items listed. And it took less than five minutes for the Steam Inventory Helper extension to uh, to do it once I set it up. So super helpful. Saved me about an hour's worth of work. And uh, since I had to do this, just in case you guys were ever in the same situation, we had a bunch of items that you needed to list for the same price and you want to save some time, this is how you can do it. So hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial video. Hope it helped you out. Please leave a like if it did. If you enjoyed it, uh, thank you all for watching. Until next time, I'm your host, Cascarte de Utica. Been a little tutorial video on the Steam Inventory Helper and listing multiple items. Until next time, I'll see you all at the top. Mm -hmm.